Yeah. All right. And from one doctor to another, I guess you guys, uh, what are you guys thinking with uh, Dr. Ali Powers? We went through a lot of people for this one, didn't we? Um, yeah, we wanted like a real opposite of Mandrake, you know, younger, more principled, better looking, you know, all of these kind of <laughs> things. Um, so, yeah, we went through a few roles, a uh, few names. We went jo Joseph Gordon Levitt. We talked about Oscar Isaac. We talked about uh, Alden. I can write, however you pronounce Han that. Solo. Yeah. Han Solo. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but we ended up on um, Nicholas Holt. Uh, he's like kind of the opposite of Steve Buscemi in lots of ways. So, yeah, um, just feel like he'd, he'd be quite a sort of shining light doctor in the corner doing everything right. So, yeah. I think uh, Nicholas Holt is actually one of my favorite recasting guys. He's on every list, every movie that we do. <laughs> oh, really? And and we actually, uh, I recasted him uh, when me and Jesse did A Few Good Men. I recasted him in the Tom Cruise role. Oh, um, nice. I thought yeah. he'd be really good in that. Uh, but yeah, that's a great choice. I definitely like that. Um, I didn't realize, you know, he's like six foot five or six foot four. He's, yeah, he's, he's really tall. Yeah. I think that was something I noticed when we were watching it through. Like, Dr. Powers does sort of look a bit bigger and taller than, and you know, just sort of towers over um, Dr. Mandrake. So I did want somebody that looked a bit different. Yeah, yeah. I think it, I was, think... it wasn't Mandrake's size that was intimidating. It was really his experience and the way he carried himself. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Jesse, because I think when we were looking at the role, and, and I mean, I listed, again, another 20-name thing where I was trying to come up with anybody I could think of that would really fit that younger doctor, the more ethical doctor. And when mm -hmm. I say ethical, I think we know from the movie, more naive doctor, right? He doesn't quite understand fully how this is going. He wants to do the right thing, but we do see him at the end giving the injections to Shark because he's like, he starts playing the game now. He's got to do what he's got to do. Yeah. Uh, so I started to think of all the younger kind of... Um, I thought of Zach Braff because obviously he'd played a doctor in Scrubs, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, um, but it was that I sent a list over to Jesse, and uh, Jesse is the one that kind of picked this character. Yeah, the one that I landed on is somebody that I haven't seen in a while, but in stuff that I've seen him in, he is a, a good-looking guy. Like you guys mentioned, you want someone who is uh, pretty polar opposite of, of who uh, Mandrake is. So we wanted a younger, good-looking guy that's at least going to pull off the naive role. And so we went with, um, off his long list, I sent over the one name, Freddie Prince Jr. That's nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. God, that's I haven't seen nice. him in anything for ages. No, obviously. Yeah, uh, that's from... why I was surprised he was on that list. But, I mean, she's all that. I mean, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, that's, yeah, I think that's the last thing I saw him in was Scooby-Doo. <laughs> well, it, may, it may have killed his career. <laughs> up in the last Star Wars movie. Was the last Star Wars movie? The, the uh, Rise of Skywalker. Was he not in that one? I don't, know. Sure. I, I don't remember seeing him in it. The little officer or something? I, I'm just oh, he had, he had like he one was, Daniel Craig Rose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, um, yeah, the last thing I saw him in is uh, those around here, obviously, all the commercials we get for Cascade. It's him and Sierra Michelle Geller saying, we do it every night. Uh, they're talking about washing the dishes. <laughs> I bet they do. I would if I was married to Sarah Michelle Geller as well. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he looks a little bit older now. He's got some salt and pepper in his hair, but uh, he still plays that young, kind of fresh guy. So I thought uh, it'd be a great role for him. Um, 